Hello everyone, welcome back to Majora's Mask. My name is Dario. In the last part, we made it through the Icona Underground, um, where we had to trade a bunch of items with the local populace, which were mummies, and um, we were able to get this mirror shield, as you can see. Well, can't really get a good look at it, but there you go. And yeah, so we made it inside the ancient castle right here, so if we just scoot our way through. You'll see that well, the music starts up very loudly, but we're on the other side here because there's no way to get out of here, out of the castle, unless you warp, you know, back to that, um, you know, statue that we were just over. Also, why is it... You know, I always like looking in, you know, past where you're not supposed to. Like, you can just see they just put a wall right there. And you could actually see where the wall ends, like, right about there. Like, you could see, like, where it's, like... Like, see? <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, they'll never look down there. Anyways. Um, but it's no big deal. We just hit this switch. And with our new mirror shield, we're able to... Or at least we should be able to. There we go. You know, I, I feel like something like that could exist in real life. Like, that kind of block. To... Uh, like a block that'll dissolve like once it hits sunlight. I feel like something like that could really exist. But we're still getting notices about the Garo even in this area, so I'm kind of curious what they say. We'll... Oh wait, oh. <laughs> we're not going to find out unless I put the right mask on, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let's see if I can run into one. There we go. The Redeads and Icona were once members of the castle's dancing troupe. Belief or disbelief rests with you. That's that's the best you can give me? That's the only real tip? Wow. Anyways, I really shouldn't be messing around. I just realized, well not just realized, I just remembered that it's the last day, so we only got a bit of time to get through here. Um, if I was smarter, I would just start over, but you know, I don't want to... I think I could do it. I, I'm, I'm feeling confident. And so... I guess this is actually appropriate that Garo told us about how the Redeads used to be part of the dancing troupe. So if we put on the Gibdo mask, it... You know, I, I guess this is what they do when enemies aren't around. They just still practice even though they're dead. So... Alright, well. Gets us out of... Uh, gets them out of our hair, rather. Alright, I'll try not to shoot you in the head. I don't want to be too mean. And we'll go ahead and just make our way through this castle. I don't think it's too difficult. Hopefully. Oh god! Oh, that's scary. That was scary, man. But I guess it's appropriate for the season. Oh, I hate it when they're small like this. Because uh, they can grow big again if you don't kill them all. Where's the other one? There we go. And dang it, I just realized I'm maxed out on rupees too, so can't really do anything. Uh, can't really get any more, rather. And so this d isn't open, so that doesn't help us. Gotta leave again. Oh, we got another switch on the back here, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's already turning night. Um, that's not good. <laughs> I think I could do it. Uh, you know, <laughs> I think I could do it. Um, what I can't do though is this right here. Because if you wait long enough, it'll drop down on you and squish you. Luckily, the the strength of the deck and flower will shoot us back up. Now. Don't make the mistake that I always do where I think I can make that jump. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to see if I can can make that jump, actually. I'm going to try with the, the Zora, though. Let's see. Come on, come on. Long legs, let's go. Ugh! Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, so when you try to make that jump with a uh, uh, regular Link, uh, you really can't make it. So now I know. 
And we got a Skulltala right there. We got another one right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it to make my life easier. And I guess I'll switch out because I don't want to keep using magic. But yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of appropriate. Because um, at the time of recording this, it's the Halloween season. You know, so if you're watching this after the fact, um, you know, just you know, ignore, you know. <laughs> um, wait, how do I get, get over there? What? I'm stuck here. How? Wait a second. Hold on. I wonder... Aha. Should have guessed. But yeah, this game came out, I think it was on the 23rd or the 25th of October. And so sadly, at the time of recording this, I missed the anniversary date, but better late than never, right? You know, I, I always say this, I feel, but it's not like when we were kids and you could just sit and play video games all day. Sadly, I have to be busy with other things. <laughs> and... You know, thus I, I wasn't able to record on the day of uh, actually saying it. And so we're on the rooftop. And... She's gonna keep bugging me about the Garrow Mask. Now we do have a heart piece over there, but I'm gonna wait on that because I really don't have the time to be... Messing, messing around with that. And... If we go over here... Which, this one might be tricky. I mean, you wouldn't think to, like, run along the side here. In fact, I actually... I think I actually missed it. Uh, there should be an opening. What the heck? Why is there no opening? How do I... Wait, how do I get over here? Oh, wait a second. That's right. I gotta... Finagle my way. That's right. Okay. That's what, that's what you're supposed to do. So that opens up the doorway, so if you jump down back right here... ...and run this way... ...it opens up this... ...and... ...we got some more re-deads, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that mask on real quick. <laughs> Alright, I really don't got time to waste, but I'm just going to stop and look at this for a second. Never gets old. Oh man, we got this thing. You know what? I can't believe I'm going to do this. I Okay, it's 9 o'clock, and there's no way I'm going to make this. Let me see if I can warp out of here. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna make this, like... I'm, I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and reset the time, and when I come back, I'll just, uh, you know... I'll just come back to where I was in the temple. But, uh, not temple, this isn't a temple, it's like a mini dungeon, but... I was just like, you know what, like, I was thinking, like, oh, maybe I could... You know, just in the nick of time, like, complete this little dungeon, but no, there's no way. In between that boss battle and then, like, still getting up to the roof and everything, it's like, no, I'm just... I ain't gonna make it. Alright, so we made it back. You know, when, once you figure out how to do everything, it really doesn't take that long. But, I'm glad I at least, you know, highlighted that. Oops, I forgot. I fought this guy like a dozen times and I forgot how to fight him. So we're just gonna roll and punch him since that's the strongest attack we have. But yeah, I really wanted I really do enjoy showing off almost like playing this game like it's your first time, because otherwise, you know, to me it would just seem boring otherwise to you know, just do everything like the back of my hand. But no, that was like a perfect example. Oh geez, I'm not paying attention! Ah! <laughs> that was like a perfect example of yeah, just how you have to kind of weigh the, the odds, whether or not, 
oh, should I keep going or oh, should I back away? Like, because, you know, if you if you start over, if you reset time, you do have to... I had to do all the puzzles that I just did again. And, you know, you know, maybe that's a reason to just like, oh, I should just always reset time. You know, why bother? Oh, my God. You know, anyways, you get what I'm saying, I think. And then, I will say this, though. I really don't appreciate it, the padding that this game adds in, like, fighting this guy again. Like, come on. And I feel like they made him stronger, too, because it just took, like, I don't know. Honestly, this only took, like, a minute and a half, but still. Like, you know, it's all there just to kind of run out the clock a little bit. Ah! There we go. Go back to dancing. Take those. All right. And so this is the hole that just opened up that did that light. So I remember that used to confuse me as a kid a bit. Like I would, oh, here's what I jumped down. And then it's like, oh, wait, I got to run all the way back up, you know. But this one was also a little bit confusing right here. Here, see? You always miss things like this. Take a look. The rocks are cracked here. So, luckily we got something to take care of that. Uh, how come that didn't take care of that? So try all you might, you're not going to have enough bombs to destroy this thing. But we did come across a bigger bomb uh, in our travels, which was the powder keg, if you remember. So yep, look around all you might, there is no place where you're going to, you know, that's close by that's going to hand it to you. You are going to have to go back and buy one. Yeah, so that's another one that's kind of, like, uh, annoying a little bit. You know, it's a little bit random, I guess, but... You know, I guess they just wanted to give one more use to the powder keg. And it, I don't know, it's just... That one bo that one always bothered me, because especially if time's running out and you're like, Okay, I could just make it. Then, yeah, you have to run all the way back here, get money, go all the way back up north. Uh, to Snowhead, talk to the guy. It's a whole thing. Uh, I will show you one little easier thing, uh, you know, easier way to do this, though, so. Well, actually, the easiest way is just to know that beforehand and just bring a powder keg with you. And, dang, I always keep rushing it too fast. So, you actually don't have to go all the way back up to Snowhead to get a powder keg. If you come to the bomb shop, there's a Goron here, you might remember. We actually came across him before, but very easy to forget that this guy existed. Um, put this here. There we go. Alright, let's do that. So, we talked to him, and he's like, oh, brother, I'm glad to, you know, you're a Goron. Oh, and it's only 50 rupees. So it's actually cheaper. So you get rewarded for coming here. Man. Anyways. So, yeah, like I said, very easy to forget. I, you know, I made the mistake many times to going back up to Snowhead before I found out about that guy again. Alright, made it back up here, no problem. Thankfully, we, we didn't have to fight the mini boss again. And let's see, how am I going to do this? Uh. Guess that? I mean, it does explode kind of quick, but I want to be quicker! So yeah, see? No problem, but... Yeah, it can be kind of annoying. Um, you know, honestly, it's just, it's just one of those things where when you replay this game, you just kind of keep, you know, keep in mind, like, okay, gotta buy a counter pet, you know, counter peg? <laughs> yeah, one of those. Yeah, what am I gonna need? Oh, the Gibdo mask, I'll probably... Because this falls right in the center of these guys. 
Man, did I kill him? I'm sorry. I really wasn't trying to. Oh, jeez, I just killed all of you. Oh, well, you, you're giving away money, so... Okay, you know what? Your friends are dead anyway, so... We could all dance in heaven together. So, very ominous looking area we're in right now. Even more ominous looking. Got a throne room of some kind. Oh, insolent one who has brought the unthinkable into a land as dark as Icona. My servants has fallen lamelessly before the light that guides you. However, the darkness in which my servants live in is after all fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes just what kind of thing true darkness really is. <laughs> Use health targeting methods while defending. The unthinkable? What could possibly be as dark as a place like this? So, Navi sadly is not as much help. Uh, Navi, Tattle, sorry. Oh, jeez. Alright, that's one down. That's two down. Wait, why aren't they going down? Why, they're still alive. Why is he coming back to life? Maybe I gotta burn him alive? Nope, that didn't work. I guess that only works for zombies. Alright, so... This is another fight where you could just keep going on and on until nightfall comes, but... What we need to do is... Using the power of the light. Oh, well, they kind of get away from you, so let me see if I can. Okay, they're blocking it with their shield. Okay, these ones are kind of smart. I kind of, I can appreciate it. So let's go ahead and try to fight them again. Got him! Got him! See? Not a fan of the light, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, you're not gonna like this either. Now that we lit up the place, we just come over here and burn their bodies. Got him. So now the big boss himself comes after us. She tells us the same thing. Ooh. Dang, this guy. His sword is as big as me. How am I supposed to fight him? Uh, please let there be hearts. Thank you. Try to attack his body while this is happening. Nope, it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, he's eating my face! Oh, yeah? How do you like this? Oh, okay. I guess you don't mind it actually. Oh, jeez. Blowing your face at me. Oh, 
this thing again. I don't even know how I'm supposed to harm it during this phase. Oh, well. Good thing I always come prepared. Bad news is that's my only fairy. I knew I should have got another one. There you go. How do you like that? Come on, get over here. Come on. It's not gonna burn. It's alright. It's kind of nice, actually. Nice and toasty. Oh my god. You and this head thing! I'm just gonna run around. You know what? I'm gonna go behind your throne. How about you like that? Right here. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't. Guys, I really don't know what's going on. I swear to you, this fight does not normally go on this long. I'm so dead. I'm I'm actually gonna die to this guy. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened. He just wasn't dying. I I'm so confused. Yeah, see, it's it's not it's not a bad guy. I'm, I'm Captain Kita. Oh, Kita, is it not Captain Kita? But you're so tiny, ta 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 tiny. I was nearly fooled by what you have done. Oh, I was hoping you were. Ooh. Can this just, like, fry him? I think he's, like, right in the light. Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him! How did that not get him? Oh, man. Fight this guy again. That's death one. So I got three fairies, and I'm going for the ultimate cheese strategy of just uh, getting him up against the wall and just pounding straight into him. And yes, I said that the, exactly the way that I wanted it to. Did I get him? Oh my god, I got him. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're blocking me. Get out of my way. I could still get him. B -b blocking you? The reason he beat us is because you were so feeble. Don't blame this on me. What? Just try saying that again to my bony face. Feeble! Feeble, 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 feeble! Shut up already! Don't look at me! I was once called the best swordsman in all of Icona! The greatest swordsman in all of Icona? You? Feeble! Draw your weapon! Huh? I'm telling you to draw your sword! How? Will you stop? 
What fools? Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruined and us left in this state? Isn't it petty little battles like this that have caused it? Believing in your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure, these feelings have vanished from our hearts. It all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of that stone tower. You who brings light into darkness, I am the king of Icona Kingdom, Ignos du Icona. The spellbinding that has been cast upon us was broken by that light which you carry. To return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of Stone Tower, where the winds of darkness blow through. But Stone Tower is all but an impenetrable, tr impenetrable fortress. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. It is far too reckless for one to take on such challenge. And so, I grant you a soldier who has no heart, one who will not falter in the darkness. You learn the Elegy of Emptiness. It is a mythical song that allows you to shed a shell shaped in your current image. By playing the song while wearing masks to assume different forms, you'll be able to leave up to four empty shells, one for each form. This soldier who has no heart is your twin image, a shell of yourself that you will shed when your song commands it. On my kingdom, shine the light of justice. Well, that certainly was a battle and certainly was an adventure here into the castle of Icona. Took us a whole day <laughs> to be able to topple it. And I think we're going to go ahead and end things off. We're at a good stopping point getting the Elegy of Emptiness. Elegy of Emptiness. Thank you guys so much for watching. I kind of hope it was enjoyable. Me failing. <laughs> and uh, all counts. Man, I failed... I had to I had to stop in the middle of the temple. I died in this, you know, fighting the the king. Like, I had to go back and get a bomb, and I was I was doing all kinds of bad. Anyways, thank you guys for being a part of it. Hope it was at least a little bit entertaining. And in the next episode, we're gonna be going to Stone Tower. See you guys then. Take care.